Hey everyone, Ed and Pete here at Tokyo Game Show 2017, and we saw a pretty cool little indie game that may be reminiscent of something you may have played and loved in the past. Pete. Yeah, Tiny Metal. Tiny Metal. A game very similar to Advance Wars, a game series that used to be made by Intelligent Systems that came out on the Game Boy Advance, and then all but, oh, actually no, there were DS games, right? Yeah, yeah, there yeah. were DS games. But after that, it all but vanished. Yeah. But Tiny Metal seems to be bringing it all back, and yeah. it's coming to Nintendo Switch in addition to a bunch of other platforms. Yeah, like PC, PS4, yeah. that kind of stuff. It's got a really great visual style, so it's yeah. not a 2D sprite-based game. It is a poly polygonal game, hmm. but everything else is basically the Advance Wars that you knew. I mean, you are moving around a map, you've got soldiers, you've got tanks. You're also taking over buildings and you're upgrading sort of the arsenal that you can build to bring into the map. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Advance Wars, but mechanically the, the system seems almost one for one with Advance Wars. There were a few extra things. Yes, the, the focus attack, what was it called? Oh, it was a lock-on system. The lock-on system. So essentially what you would do is you would have two units that would more or less flank an enemy unit and then they could attack both simultaneously. Yeah. The enemy would still get a chance to counterattack, but you would get two attacks yeah. for their one. So you could wipe them out. Basically, basically. if you were good enough. But you know, still, like if you hide in the trees, that ups your defense. But if your enemy's hiding in the trees, it also makes it a little bit more difficult. So there's that ebb and flow. There's also the assault move, which lets you push enemies back. Yeah. So if they are in the trees, you can get them out and then open them up for the rest of your turn for other enemies or for other allies to attack them. The other thing with that is that they attack first, so you could get wiped out potentially. Correct. So we played it on PC. It looks great, it plays pretty well, yeah. and it's coming out very soon. It's coming out yeah. like next month. Yeah, this is something that looks really good. The art style's great. I love the sort of voxel effect of the fog of war. Right, um, it's got like a very much like a gridded, as you put it, voxel effect. Yeah. It's not the typical sort of like ambiguous space. I mean, it yeah. is ambiguous, but it's, it's way more blocked off. And yeah, as you move, you sort of uncover more. Yeah. I mean, I'm a huge fan of strategy, of uh, turn-based strategy, and especially after playing Rabbids on the Switch, I'm looking for more on that console. Yeah, and these it looks gonna, like this is going to scratch that itch, for these sure. These are going to be long matches as well. We played yeah. for about 20 minutes, and I feel like we only uncovered about half the map. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so keep an eye out for Tiny Metal. We're going to follow this up. If you haven't seen some already during this video, more gameplay, and uh, stay tuned for more coverage from Tokyo Game Show 2017.